Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, yeah, so we've got some pretty new features here. It's time to get rid of that old crap. This will be our craft number two. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll hit suborbital with something like this. Uh, I really don't know, but we got our decoupler here, which is probably the best thing we got out of the entire science package that we unlocked. And, well, I should say our first ever unlock in general. And I think what I'm going to do to save that module, because these look like they're pretty expensive compared to most things, I, I think... Yeah, I mean, it costs roughly about the same price as an engine, so I think we should get rid of that, and uh, yeah, or we should keep that on our craft, because that will just make sense on keeping financially. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of set up a little bit of a better rocket here. So, once again, if you guys want to name your my craft, submit your name in the episode accordingly, and, uh, you know, the next episode or if, say if I shoot a couple of them I will update and you know rename each one of the crafts that I use so and, and, and also you'll get a little shout out too if you want one so that, that always works out uh, let's see put that here and uh, we're just gonna build like a very very basic kind of rocket here that you know I think we'll be able to go suborbital with at least something a little bit better than what we had and I think something like this is probably going to be the best I don't know I don't want to go too overboard with that I kinda wanna keep the rocket design to a very minimal state and not go all crazy and add a whole bunch of really insane things on onto it that just will kinda take away a lot of the fun of it so the one thing, I, I think I'll make this a three-stage rocket, and what I'll do on the very end here, well, I should say four-stage, I don't know. Did we unlock another, didn't we unlock another engine? Oh, I guess not, so I'll just keep it like this. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep it like that. We'll, we'll launch like that, because that makes a lot of sense. So, this will be craft number two. Uh, once again, pretty basic, but we'll definitely probably collect some better science data this launch we have our mystery goo and we'll be able to do a few different things and for some reason it just makes me want to say a goo a goo so yeah we'll send this out send that data there we go so we'll just uh let's see i gotta make sure that the staging is all right i don't want to screw this up so Let's see, uh, no, that's not right. That's not what I was trying to do. I'll bring this down here. That way they'll fire as they decouple, and we'll leave this all separate. That looks good, so... Yeah, let's go. Yeah, so something tells me that this is going to be a little bit of a uh, slower rocket compared to our last one. Our last, last rocket was... It was pretty tiny, but at the same time, uh, we ended up getting some valuable valuable data that really did help out. Um, hopefully, this one we actually end up, you know, really getting a better altitude in the atmosphere. Maybe we'll go suborbital. I don't know. This is uh, I'm not very good with rocket designs. That's like you know, if it's something I've never really built before, which surprisingly I've never built these really small style rockets like that because I know some people really they try to keep their build small and I never I never do that I mean obviously you guys know this but it's you know for mo the most part I'm usually building something just some massive monstrosity of a rocket that really is just insane as far as what I'm trying to do so they do an explorer um, you know, the Duna stuff that I've been doing lately, you know, that stuff, I mean, you're talking spending lots of time trying to figure out how to get something to work perfectly. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff, I haven't really been reading it, but, you know, the 
it's like saying the goo is jiggling around and i guess i don't know what kind of scientific data that is but you know okay i guess you know it, it's job it's jiggling so I, I think i'm gonna conserve my battery power at least for now i think we keep on sending stuff here which is killing our battery so we haven't really that's the one thing i have noticed is it's really hard to maintain a, a battery in this game as far as uh in the very beginnings your your battery power is just you're using it basically for every bit of science experiment that you can do so it's it's always just a constant fight of you know maintaining battery power gaining more battery power and then you know trying to save it up so you can do another science experiment once again we're not perfectly lined up with the 90 which bothers me but yeah whatever so I'll try to send one more out I think that's all we're going to get at least for now, but we got a suborbital flight. We're going way out there too, which is kind of stupid. I probably could have gotten an orbit out of this. I probably could have easily gotten an orbit out of this, but eh, what do you expect? I, I wasn't really planning. I didn't even think that this craft would even make it uh, past the like low carbon orbit. So I th well, I, I knew it was going to go past low carbon orbit, but I didn't even think it would be even possible to uh, reach orbit with this so we can still try even though I'll probably run out of fuel but we'll do a burn right at our AP and let's see what we can get and that's it amazing yeah not very much but we don't really have a lot of battery power which kinda sucks so we'll get rid of this last stage here uh, let's see I mean, technically we're in space, and this scientific data would probably be very, very uh, useful, but I, I don't think we're going to even have enough power to send out anything. So, yeah, it looks like it right now. So let's just get back into the atmosphere for now. Uh, there we go. There we go. I think we just... Oh, no, now we did. When the music stops, that's when you have to... That's when, when the uh, good stuff is about to happen. Oh my god. So I'll just deploy the chute right now, even though it's like way too high to be doing that. But Let's see, I'll turn on the SAS. That way we can get lined up with our retrograde. That way we don't burn up in the atmosphere, right? I mean, I kind of want to keep some realism in this, but... Ah, uh, yeah, that's not good. There we go. Perfect. So it is using a little bit of power, the SAS. And it's just it's, it's such a shame right now because of the fact that you we really don't have anything to produce any kind of power. We don't even have a battery as far as, like, things that we need. And that's kind of, like, a really big problem. So... I, I think on my first opportunity I get, I think I'm going to push towards getting a battery, which I think right now I know which one will actually give me a battery, but I'm not sure. I think it's the lower end of the uh, spectrum as far as uh, the research is concerned. I'll turn off the SAS. And just, I think uh, we're pretty safe now. We're not going to burn up in the atmosphere or anything like that. So let's just get a nice splash down. This is the first time I'm really playing this game, and I'm actually trying to get the Kerbals back to Kerbin, and, like, you know, really caring about all this kind of stuff, so... I just don't want to screw anything up, and I think if you don't retrieve them, and if you don't save, like, your science modules and stuff like that, then, um, you know, it kind of ruins the experiment, so... Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! 6.6 .6 meters a second, I think it was... Oh, no, never mind. It is going to be slower because our la our, I, I expected it to be faster. But our first flight, we had, we had like, a whole bunch of stuff on our uh, craft. So this is going to be a little bit better there. So let's see what we earned. Maybe we got, like, 20 points or something. Nice. We got 30 points. So recovery of a vessel, suborbital flight. Uh, the main thing I'm really wondering is if 
the science actually stacks as far as like when you go here so we just earned 29 but we had six left over before so did we lose all that science points or something or am i just crazy or something so what is this gonna earn us we're gonna get landing legs and um this will give us a radial decoupler, which will come in handy because then I could use solid rocket boosters. Which will make things a little bit easier. This will give us a new engine and parachute. I wonder if recovery of your um, stages is also something that they consider when you do this. So, I don't know. And I think I might end up launching a variant of the same craft that we launched before hmm I'm like a very confused or a very um, reserved about spending my points I don't really know what I want to get into I think I want to go towards more of survivability because if we get a landing leg then that will help prepare us to get to the moon which shouldn't take too long so this is I guess something that has to do with electricity yes that is good and, uh, yeah, this will unlock the electric. We get a battery, at least, and, and a satellite dish. And the new science module, too, at uh, this, uh, Science Junior. I wonder if there's a Science Senior module, or if they're gonna add one or something. I, I don't know. I, I haven't really messed around too much with the, uh, science stuff as far as, uh, you know, everything... Other than building the Duna Explorer. But anyways, guys. Uh, the new feature for this week is Mr. Plastic Sporks. Uh, I'll have a link in the video at the end like I normally do. You can go and check out his videos and stuff. Another Kerbal Space Program p player. So if you would be so kind to go over there and check him out, that would be very, very nice. And I will thank you for that. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.